To build a sustainable city, we need to power it with a green fuel that emits no pollution when consumed. Hydrogen is an ideal candidate. However, only 1% of hydrogen today is produced in a sustainable way. But do you know we can create green hydrogen by directly utilizing solar energy? This relatively new but promising technology is called photocatalytic water splitting. It simply means splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen with sunlight and a catalyst, which is commonly a semiconductor. The basic setup look like this. The semiconductor sits on the bottom of the container with water on top of it. When sunlight shines through, the reaction begins and oxygen and hydrogen evolve. The mechanism behind this technology is pretty simple. First, the electrons in the semiconductor absorb photons in the incoming solar rays and gain energy. If energy supplied by the photon is enough, then the electron would escape from the valence band and become free to move around or react, leaving a hole behind in the valence band. Next, the photogenerated electron and the hole migrate to the surface of the semiconductor and react with water. The holes gain electrons from water molecules, generating oxygen and H plus ions. The electrons combine with the H plus ions presented in water to form our desired product, hydrogen. One problem with this new technology is rapid hole electron recombination. That is the hole and electron recombined before they could react with the water. To overcome this challenge, scientists deploy the use of a sacrificial reagent, which is a strong reducing agent that has a strong tendency to lose electrons and fill up the holes. Since the sacrificial agent is more reactive than water, it also helps to lower the activation energy and improve the efficiency of the process. Another problem facing this technology is its economic feasibility. Professor Jiwang Tang of UCL's chemical engineering department hints that the golden ticket to economic feasibility is to produce hydrogen alongside other chemicals. By carefully selecting the sacrificial agent and controlling reaction conditions, the agent can be oxidized to a useful product. Based on this concept, Professor Tang suggested coupling with photo-reforming of bioethanol which produces 1,1-dimethoxyethane. The green 1,1-dimethoxyethane produced can be sold as fragrance, solvent, and additive to diesel. Photocatalytic water splitting is currently under rigorous research due to its relatively low cost and high solar hydrogen efficiency. It will help us to power ourselves towards a sustainable future.